All right there, everyone. How's it going? I know it's a little bit late for a UFC 249 predictions for fights that were added after I'd already made my other two prediction videos. But hey ho, here we are. So yeah, um, as I say, apologies that this is late. I just locked down laziness, isn't it? You know, I've been really, just really lazy to be honest. Um, I didn't really know whether or not to make this as well, mainly because. I'd already done the UFC 249 predictions like months ago and then I did the Gagey vs Ferguson and predicted another fight on there. But, you know, why not do this, to be honest? It is it is what it is, isn't it? You know, it's just some more cheeky predictions. And I, Even though it's a day before, I don't, I'm not necessarily bothered about views. I just want to get my opinion out there. So, yeah, let's get into this. All right, then, so first fight I'll be predicting will be Henry Cejudo versus Dominic Cruz. So, yeah, um, to be honest, Cruz has had a long, long time off, hasn't he? This is his longest layoff ever, which is insane, really. And Cejudo spent all this time working hard and improving at MMA, you know, getting his game better. Well, while um, Cruz has been off, Cejudo beat Demetrius Johnson in a razor-close decision. Um, you know, beaten by decision, I mean. I think it was split, wasn't it? Split decision. Um, but, um, beat... TJ Dillashaw knocked him out really quick at 125. Like, I know people say, oh, you know, TJ isn't really a 125. Well, he isn't a 125, is he? And he did water cut lows and lows to get to 125. But at the same time, you know, he knocked him out in incredibly quickly, really. And, you know, I mean, I understand why people are annoyed at it because... TJ wasn't given enough time to defend himself and it was stopped really, really, really quickly. But at the same time, I feel like if they'd let that fight go on longer, TJ would have got damaged. Not loads and loads, but a bit. And I don't think it would have changed the result. I think Cejudo was all over him. Cejudo still would have got the TKO, you know, in my personal opinion. Um. So, yeah. You know, it's just a really, really fun fight, I guess. Like, Dominic Cruz's last fight, you know, against Cody Garbrandt, Cruz looked like crap. But didn't he have some injury or something? Like, he had a bit of a small injury. So, yeah, you know. Um, Cejudo's just been on a massive, massive roll. And Cruz, I mean, to be honest, having this really, really long laugh. But, I mean, before Cruz had a long laugh and he came back better than ever, he looked amazing against Dillashaw and against Faber. But, um... At the same time, you know, the thing is, what what Garbrandt did against Cruz, right? He waited for Cruz to come to him first. Now, if you look at the TJ Dillashaw fight, a lot of the exchanges that Cruz was winning, Cruz was able to counter him loads and loads and loads and just move away. But if you wait, because Cruz has his hands down and he sort of bounces around a lot, if Cruz comes in first, you know, and he has his hands down, he's really there's a massive chance that he'll get hit. So, you know. I feel like um, Henry Cejudo's going to have to step up his game quite a bit. I feel like he really needs to do that, you know. Um, he can't just fight how he normally fights. You know, Cruz's footwork's crazy. And um, I think Cruz does realise that, you know, like not to come in first. I know it takes ages for Cruz to come in. Like, if you don't go in first, but eventually he does go in. Like, he does come, in the, he does come forward at you, but... I feel like Cruz will realise, you know, Henry Cejudo, he's, he's not the bloke to... You don't want to get in the pocket with a smaller person, is what I'm saying. I think he realises that. And um, he probably didn't realise it against Garbrandt. He was probably, I don't know, just... He he might have taken Garbrandt a bit easy as well, and he might have thought, oh, I can just beat this guy, I can come forward, and then look at what happened. You know, he got mugged off. It was one of the craziest muggings ever, really. Um, Garbrandt just danced around and moved his head and messed about, really and uh, made it look easy but I do hope that Cruz um, comes back strong really I really respect the guy you know um, Henry Zahudo's wrestling it is phenomenal and I feel like it'll come into it a bit but Cruz is, has insanely good takedown defence and really good wrestling so I don't know if that'll be a factor and also the way Zahudo was able to beat Marlon Marais like the beginning and the end was um, him getting need, need loads and loads and loads and loads uh, which wasn't really that good. Marlon Marais didn't do anything in the clinch. And I can't really see Henry Cejudo being able to get anywhere near Cruz's clinch. 
So this fight, man, is just such a hard one to call. Honestly, <sighs> thing is, I've picked Cejudo to lose so many times. I thought DJ was going to beat him. I thought TJ was going to beat him. I thought Marais was going to beat him. Oof, man. Honestly, I think Cruz is going to do it. I just think Cruz will be able to dance around him. I feel like Cruz, the reason Cruz hasn't come back in ages is because he wasn't healthy enough. But while he's been off, you know, he's he's probably, he's had a good well re a good rest and a good break. And I feel like he can pull this off, to be honest. I feel like Cruz can dance around him for ages and get a decision. You know, I can, but the thing is, oh man, Cejudo, he can go, go the five rounds and he can knock you out. And he can wrestle you, so it's like, oh man. No, I'm, I'm still going with Cruz. I'm sticking with Cruz. I picked against Cejudo loads and loads of times. And the other times, uh, DJ's just the best ever, isn't he? He's one of the best ever, and he knocked Cejudo out pre in their previous fight, you know. So that was like, you know, I just thought DJ was going to win. TJ, um, he just did so well against Garbrandt, but Garbrandt sort of left himself open, and I just felt like TJ was on a massive roll. I don't know why I, I don't know why I didn't pick Cejudo. To be fair, to be honest, I, I just thought TJ was on a roll. And Marais, I thought he was just absolutely brutal. I thought his stand-up was insane, and his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu he showed in his fight against Rafael Rafael So the second fight that his Jiu-Jitsu was insane. So I thought if he did, if Henry Cejudo did take him down, he could just you know, some have a good chance to submit him or to submit him or make him. Henry Cejudo really have to work hard and defend on the ground, if Henry Cejudo decided to take it there. And um, also, Marlon Moraes' stand-up's really good. But I just feel like Cruz is about to dance around him. I know it's been four years, but, you know, laughs don't always affect him, do they? Well, nearly four years, but laughs don't always affect him. So, yeah, screw it. I mean, three and a half years, but screw it. Who cares? Who cares? I feel like Cruz can do it. I do want Cruz to win because he's, he's just a legend. I do like Henry Sudo a lot as well, but, yeah, I think Cruz will get this one done. I think Cruz will get a unanimous decision. Next fight, Alexi Olenek versus Fabricio Wadum. Uh, this will be a fun fight, won't it? Two of the two of the best heavyweight grapplers ever, really. I mean, Alexi Olenek, hasn't he had like 70 fights or something ridiculous? I think so. And Wadum's obviously been in the game for years and years, hasn't he? Um, you know, Wadum has beaten better competition, you know. Like, he, didn't he come over over him years and years ago? Um... Obviously, Fedor was battering him on the ground. Then he got an arm bar on Fedor. I know, I know him. We're doing second fight against Overeem. Overeem managed to win a close um, decision, but you know, um, but he has shown off his really good Muay Thai as well. He he made Mark Mark Hunt. You know, he made him sprawl, and then he got him with a good knee because um, we're doing fake to take down. Um, he mugged off Travis Brown. That was an insane, you know, that was an absolutely insane mugging. That was such a cool fight. He just absolutely battered Brown, didn't he? Um, he submitted um, no Antonio Nogueira, you know. Um, he's just he's just insanely good, isn't he? Just a beast on the ground. He, he was absolutely whooping Cain Velasquez in the stand-up. I know Cain Velasquez had a... It was bad for him because it wasn't at sea level. It was at altitude, but still... He absolutely, absolutely whooped Kane in the stand-up and then Kane went for the um, takedown and he got him in a guillotine choke because Kane stuck his neck out there and went for, Br for, Br for Fabricio's strongest side, his right side, and got him in a guillotine. So that was insanely good. And um, he submitted Walt Harris as well, so, you know. And um, beat um, Marcin Tiberia, who's got decent grappling, and he managed to uh, mug him off. Honestly, I remember thinking that um, Tiberia was going to win at the time. Can't remember why, but uh, yeah. Uh, I think it was because his, I just felt like his standard would be better. I don't know. I don't know why, just don't ask me. And obviously he lost to Volkov. He got knocked out cold in the fourth round, I remember that. And he wasn't really doing much work from... Um, I'm pretty sure... I can't remember who was on top. I think Fabrizio took him down and he kept trying. He was doing the can opener. Um, to the back of his head, pulling the back of his head, and he was doing all right. But then, obviously, in the stand-up, Volkov just knocked him out. And obviously, Wadum did charge forward against uh, Stepe Miocic and bash, knocked out totally, just knocked out cold. Um, but uh, Olenek, you know, he's got. I mean, his submissions are very, very like you know crazy and funky and out there. While Wadum's submissions are like, you know, they're just fundamental. That okay, he's not. 
they are advanced, but like he does the basics of jiu-jitsu to an insanely high level, while Alexi Olin, you know, he goes for really funky, weird things like the Ezekiel choke, you know. So it will just, on the ground, I feel like it will be very competitive. I don't know who will win, to be honest. Um, on the ground, it will be very close. I feel like just slightly, uh, if it stays on the ground, because neither of them have got really good tight down defence, so if one of them does get the other one down, then... Um, I feel like Olenek might be able to tap him or edge it, but I feel like in the stand-up it's Wadoom all day. Wadoom's, you know, stand-up, his striking is phenomenal. It's very, very good. Uh, personally, I do want Olenek to win because Wadoom, you know, he's just a Rory Dead, isn't he? He got, done, he got banned for steroids, which is it's a bit daft, really. I know he's an old bloke and he might need the, you know, performance enhancers to keep going, but... Uh, but it doesn't give him the right to do that, really. Just because he's an old bloke, I think it's a bit scummy. And um, I don't care what your thoughts on bloody Carby Covington are, but bloody throwing a boomerang at someone just because they chatted a bit of... just because they said a few horrible things. It's like, calm down a bit, mate, come on. And bullying Tony Ferguson, bullying the lower weights, it's like, what's your problem, bro? He just gets on my nerves a bit, with him does. I know he did some good stuff, like he saved um, somebody from drowning, which was really nice of him, but... Come on, bro, seriously. It's just all those things. If he just did one of all those things, I wouldn't mind all the things that I mentioned, but it's just because he did continuously daft things, you know. But, uh, you know, if he win, I, I reckon he'll win. Honestly, I think he'll knock out Olenek in a few rounds, to be honest. Or, actually, no, 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 a decision. Unanimous decision, 30-27. You know, no matter what my personal feelings are, um, Badoom is an insanely good fighter and he'll probably win. So, yeah. Uh, next fight we have is Vicente Luque versus Nico Price. So these these are just two tough guys, two studs, you know. I mean, Vicente Luque, his fight with Brian Barberina was just a total throwdown, wasn't he? It was just madness. Brian Barberina kept coming forward and was landing quite a lot. Uh, but eventually, you know, Brian Barberina got finished. He took a lot of punishment off Luque, but Luque... Thing is, Brian Barberina's head took a lot of punishment, but then, you know, Luke went for the body with the knees, and it was like, oh, it's all over. It's all over for Barberina. Yep, finished, finished. And, um, you know, his fight with Thompson, I just gained so much respect for Luke. you know. I gained, obviously, I already had loads of respect for Thompson. We know he's amazing in the stand-up, but Luke taking all those punches, man, that was absolutely insane. That was madness, the punishment he was taking in that fight. I mean, if it had gone to four and five, it would have been waved off Dr. Stoppage, but bloody hell, Luke took so much punishment, man. Such a tough guy, you know. Um, and his Mike Perry fight was quite a brawl as well. And he took a lot of punishment in that. And um, to be honest, I thought Mike Perry won that fight. Um, but there you go, they gave it to Luke. Eh? And also, you know, his the deciding factor for me on this one is like, I know Nico Price. You know, he's had some really flashy, insane KOs. You know, and he's the hammer fist from the bottom was mad on Randy Brown. That was pretty class that he that he managed to pull that off. But I just feel like, you know, it'll just be the same as the first fight, except it'll probably end in round two. You know, Luke Al managed to land something amazing on him, and then Price will go down, and then Luke Al land a few more bombs, then, you know, getting the cheeky submission. That's what I think will happen personally. So, yeah, I'm going with Vicente Luke, second round submission. I know Luke has been battered a lot, you know, but. Um, and Price is good. I mean, he did manage to uh, drop Jeff Neal at one point, and Jeff Neal was insanely good, but. I just feel like, you know, I feel like Price will probably get finished again. Yep, Price. So Price will lose second round submission, in my opinion. Vicente Luque will win this one. Petes versus Cowboy 2, baby! Woo, 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 woo! No, a bit too over-enthusiastic. So, Petes versus Cowboy 2. Uh, a bit similar with the Brian... Um, not Brian, sorry. Vicente Luque versus Nico Price fight, you know. Like, Cowboy... Okay, he hasn't got finished in all of his fights, but obviously finished by McGregor, finished by Gaethje, finished by Ferguson. That Ferguson fight was brutal. The Gaethje fight, it was like, oh man, that was hard to watch that knockout. And obviously the McGregor fight was just a bit... The head kick and shoulder strikes were like, oof, and then just a barrage of punches on the ground. It was like, man, bloody hell. He's just taking too much punishment, hasn't he, Cowboy? And then before that, you know, the Leon Edwards decision... Um, 
I mean, he did do well. You know, didn't he? Ma- if he managed to finish Mike Perry, Alexander Hernandez, and uh, just mugged off Rage and Alec Quinter. I was so surprised. I thought, bloody hell, mate, you're good. That was sick. Um, but yeah, Cowboy should have retired ages ago, shouldn't he? Really. I personally think he should have had one more fight after the RDA fight. You know, just just to get a win and then retired after that because. You know, he'd lost all the big fights at the end of the day. And he'd already proved that he was a legend. He'd already proved that he was a beast. And now he's just gotten battered loads and loads of times. And it's just no fun, really, to be honest. And um, in the first fight, you know, it was sort of competitive for a little bit. Pettis was pushing the pace. But then as soon as Pettis started landing the body kicks, man, it was all over. That one final body kick, that was like a oof, you know. Cowboy's just taken so much punishment, man. I feel so bad for him, you know. It's just awful, really. It feels like fighting's all he knows, you know. And he's just addicted to this. He just can't do anything else. Even though he's made his money after the McGregor fight, it's like, nah. He just wants to keep doing this more and more and more. And it's like, bro, you need to stop now, seriously. Someone should have told... I mean, he's 37. Someone should have told him years ago, bro, it's time to stop, you know, seriously. Because you're going to end up in a bad condition um, when you're, like, 50 or, you know, mid-50s. It's just not good at all for him, really. So, um, yeah, you know... All I will say with Pettis, Pettis is still... He's nowhere near as good as like he was in his prime, but he's still quite good. He can still go. I mean, he rocked Nate Diaz a little bit, knocking out Thompson cold. I know Pettis was getting mugged off, but like then knocking Thompson out, that was like absolute madness, you know. That was insanely cool. Um, so, yeah, he's just he's just a total beast, isn't he, Pettis? Um, the Ferguson fight, he nearly finished Ferguson, you know. So, Pettis can still go with the best really so you know I feel like again it will just be the same as the first fight first round um, TKO for Pettis, Cowboy I really hope Cowboy retires after this one because I really like the bloke, he's such a nice guy and I respect him so I just want him to retire after this now, please stop doing this to yourself bro, you know it's just too much you've had the most fights, you've broke all the records now seriously just stop, seriously man um, I'll just predict the other fights quickly, um, just because, you know, what's the point of going into detail with these? I mean, they're good fighters, but I just don't know enough to go into detail about them. I'm sorry. Uh, Bryce Mitchell, I think he'll win. He's just a stud. He was great on the Ultimate Fighter, and it's cool that they put him in the UFC. Um, pretty sure he won, didn't he, or didn't he come second? Honestly, I'm sorry. I just uh, I get a bit mixed up with the Ultimate Fighter because, like... Um, just don't watch it much, you know. And sometimes they put the people who come second in sometimes. Um, I think Ryan Spam, uh, Span will win. Um, Michelle Watson, I think she'll win. Beast. Uh, and Greg Hardy, I think he'll win because he has the experience, you know. He fought Volkov. So, um, yeah, you know, those are all of my predictions. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Sorry, the UFC stuff and MMA stuff in general hasn't been coming out recently, like the predictions. May It's mainly because, you know, this coronavirus going about and there's no, not really any fights on, is there? So, um, yeah, thank you for watching and have a good one and stay safe. See ya. By the way, I was just going to mention quickly uh, the fights that I haven't talked about on here, I've already talked about on previous videos. So, yeah, go and check them out. Check out my um, other UFC 249 prediction video. So, yeah, that's it then. Um, see ya.